Hello, in this tutorial I'm gonna talk about variables. I'm gonna explain what variables are, what you can do with variables and how to use those variables. So first of all, let me explain what variables are. Variables are things that can contain content. That content can be numbers, letters, characters, etc, etc. Whatever you want. You can set your own variable or you can use built-in variables inside Tasker. Let me open tasker right now. Also remember I use the flash action to check everything inside tasker. I was talking about built-in variables. Let's see what the built-in variables are. So I'm gonna create a new task and I call it test for example. Okay plus alert flash and you will see here you can flash a text. Here you will see you can use variables. When you click on that, you will see several possible variables. So when I scroll down, you will see from here the tasker inside variables. Airplane mode status, airplane radios, uh, battery level, Bluetooth status, etc, etc. Those are all the built-in variables inside Tasker. When I choose one of the variables, for example date, you will see person sign and then you will see dates. Also you see that the dates, the letters are all in uppercase. That means when you use a variable that is in uppercase, that is a global variable or a variable starting with an uppercase letter. Those are global variables. On the other side you have also local variables. What's the difference? When you use global variables you can access that variable whenever you want, whatever the task would be. When you use local variables the variable will be cleared at the end of the task. So you cannot use that variable inside other tasks. The advantage of using local variables are those are very fast, faster than global variables and cannot interfere with other tasks. That's the advantage of local variables. So my suggestion is use always local variables. Only when you need that variable also in other tasks use global variables. I hope you understand that. So this is a global variable and built-in variable inside Tasker. So the first thing you need to learn is how can you set your own variables. Now you know you can use built-in variables but you can also create your own variables. But how can you do that? Let me explain that. I'm gonna cancel this and here I'm inside my test task. So when I click on plus you can see here variables. Inside the variable actions you see several actions. Array clear, array pop, array process, push, variable add, clear, convert, join, query, randomize, search and replace, section, set, split and subtract. Like I said, when you want to create your own variable, you have to use the variable set action. I'm gonna click on that and then you see here name, percent sign, to do math, append, if and label. So you can name your variable. For example, I'm gonna name it test and you see it's a local variable because it's all in lowercase. And I'm gonna set a text inside my test variable. For example, hi, this is a test. Because this variable contains characters, letters, I'm not gonna do maths. Do only maths when you need it, for example, when you count numbers with other numbers, etc, etc. The append button, you can use that when you want to add something after the original content. Okay, let's go back. So you see here variable test and test will contain hi this is a test let's go back and let's test this right now plus alert flash and then we use the variable tests you can type that inside here but once you have created your own variable you will see that variable at the top of the list when you click here here that was the variable that i just created and let's go back and let's play those actions so the first action is a variable set the second is just a flash for testing and you will see here that flash. So I hope you understand right now how to set a variable. 
It's quite easy, it's not that difficult, okay? When we open the variable actions, there are several other actions. I'm not gonna explain them all, because here you will see actions about arrays. I'm not gonna explain those, because this tutorial is only about variables. An array is a step further when you understand everything about variables. So I will explain all those variable add, clear, convert, join, query, randomize, search and replace section sets. I've just explained that. Splits and subtract. So I'm gonna go back and here you see search, replace, random, section, subtract, add, convert, split, query, join and sets. So we're gonna start what search and replace. You will see here an action. I'm doing here an SQLite action. I'm retrieving some data from a database and I will store the output in the variable system for example. I'm gonna disable action 3 and 4 and after that I'm gonna flash the variable system. So let's play it. You saw several things from my database. Also, you saw between each word there was an underscore. Let me play that again. Here, underscore, underscore, underscore. So for this example, I will do a variable search and replace. I'm gonna enable that and let's open that action. You will see here, we use a variable system and we're gonna search after underscore. Multiline is checked and we're gonna replace matches with just the space. So I typed here a space. So when I go back and enable the flash now, you will see when I play that action, you will see two flashes. The first flash is the original flash from our database. The second would be the underscore replaced by a space. So let's try this. Underscores. And now there are no underscores anymore. So I hope you understand what the variable search replace would mean. I use that also in other tutorials together with a for function. So if you want to know how to use a for function with a, a variable search and replace, watch those tutorials as well. And then we have a task random, variable random. Let's open that. So I have two actions, variable randomize and then flash random. So the variable randomize, choose a random number between a minimum and a maximum. For example, here the minimum is 1 and the maximum is 10. It will choose a random number. So let's go back and then I will do the flash again. So let's play it. It will give me the number 10 right now. Let's play that again. The number is now 7. Let's play that again. 8. So this is just a random number between the minimum and the maximum. When I open that action, remember, you can also set a variable as minimum and a variable as maximum. This is just for your information, okay? That was quite easy. The next action is a variable section. And the variable section, I have here three actions. So the first action is a variable set. I explained that before what a variable set will do. Inside the test variable, I will put the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and I will do a variable section. So for example, I'm using the variable tests and I'm using from and we have also lines. So what will it do? So here you will see from 1, that's the first character and we're gonna do a length of 3, 1, 2, 3. So it will show me only this part 1, 2, 3 and it will not show the rest and then I do a flash. Let's test this. 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's edit that. For example, from 2 and we use 2. Length is 2 also. From 2, the second variable and the length will be 2. This one and this one. So it will show me 2 and 3. Let's play that. 
to entry. So I hope you understand right now how to use variable section. Also remember when you use variable section you can use also a variable instead of that slider. Just click on the double arrows and you can put there your variables. Okay the next thing I am gonna explain is the add. Variable add. And then I will explain the variable subtract. So the add variable is quite easy. So I have three actions variable set to 20 and we do a variable add and we use a value as one. So the number let's open that we can add a number with the original variable so for example i use one and then i'm gonna flash that number so remember our original variable was 20 and we're gonna add one to 20. let's do that play is 21. When we edit that action for example i'm gonna use 6 it should be 26 like that. So it's quite easy. The next action is subtract and subtract is the same thing as add but the opposite. So we have here a number 10 and a variable subtract and we use a value 3. That should give us the number 7. So let's try this. Okay, so as you see, it's very easy. Also remember with variable adds and subtract, you can also use the double arrows for your own variable. Then we have a variable convert. The variable convert is very useful. For example, I have here six actions. First of all, I'm gonna execute the first three actions. So we do a flash times. If you don't know what this variable means, this variable is the global variable as you see, uppercase, and also a built-in variable. And times give you the time right now inside seconds. So it will give you the dates, the hours, the minutes, and the seconds inside seconds. And then we're gonna do a variable convert. So first I'm gonna flash times, and then I'm gonna convert it, and then I will flash the convert time. So first of all, let's disable action 2 and 3. So when I flash times, you will see here a long number. That's the date and time inside seconds. Now I'm gonna convert that number to a useful text for me. So I'm gonna do a variable convert. And I'm gonna use the variable times. And we can choose a function. For example, here you will have different functions and in this case i'm using seconds to long date time and we're gonna store the result in convert time quite easy and now we're gonna enable action number three and we're gonna flash that so we're gonna flash first our long numbers then we're gonna convert that and then we're gonna flash our convert time so let's do that the long number and now our dates and time okay so let me disable action 1 2 and 3 and enable action 4 5 6 so the second example is we're gonna do a variable set storage for example 1024 bytes for example and we're gonna convert that bytes to kilobytes and it should show me the storage variable and inside the storage variable would be one because 1024 bytes is one kilobyte so let's test this as you see it's one so i hope you understand what variable convert is it can be very useful for example when you retrieve your information from a website the weather for example and the temperature is a fahrenheit and you will convert that to celsius it's quite easy with variable convert so check those out then we have a variable split a variable split is very useful when you retrieve some data from a website it can be used also in other cases as well but i use this action very very much so the first thing is a variable set and our test variable is hello this is a test and we're gonna use here this splitter this signed a split so when we split that we have two parts the hello part and this is a test before the splitter and after the split so the result will be test one the first part and test two the second part 
So I'm gonna flash the first part and then I'm gonna flash the second part. Hello? This is a test, is the second part. Okay? So that's also quite easy to use that. A variable split can split your variable. The only task left are query and join. First I'm gonna explain the variable join action. The variable join action is also quite easy, but that's just the opposite of the variable split. So for example, we have part 1 is how, part 2 is R, part 3 is U. When I use a variable join and we use a sign as joiner and the variable join will be part because part was split before would be something like this gonna play it how are you so it's quite easy it's just the opposite of variable split and then we have also our last action and that's query when you use variable query you have to work with scenes a variable query is similar like the text edit field inside scenes so i'm gonna use a variable query let me open that action and you will see here you can set a title and we gonna store the results in variable query for example you can choose whatever you want the input text will be normal text you can choose caps word all caps numeric integer password etc etc and the rest is just default options and then we're gonna use a flash so what will it do let me show you what it really does so when I click on play you will see here a pop-up with two buttons accept or cancel and for example I'm gonna type here some for example test when I accept that you will see here that variable test let's try this again and let's type a number for example okay something like that accept it will show me that number so whatever you type inside here it will store that in variable query so as you see that is not so difficult at all so those were the actions about variables there are many other things that i can tell you about variables i'm not gonna do that right now also i haven't explained right now the arrays because it goes a step further i hope you learned a lot because you have to because variables are the most powerful things inside the task. When you understand how variables works, what you can do with variables, you can do amazing things. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe me on YouTube. If you have any questions, you can leave that on my YouTube channel or my Google Plus community. And see you next time. Bye.